What is a primary source? A primary source is basically the recorded story or of an event by those who participated in the event or those that were alive during that time. This can be in the form of a diary, journal entry, letters home, books, autobiographies, and more recently it can be a video recording or even a sound recording. Today, the 11th OVC will begin the first of many videos examining a series of primary resources from the Civil War era. Today we're going to be looking at an excerpt from Tending the Talking Wire. This is a, basically a book written about a series of letters written home by Hervey Johnson, who is a member of the 11th Ohio Volunteer Cavalry, stationed out west in the 1860s. This is the first letter that he wrote home, at least a portion of it, from October 12th, 1863, written from Fort Laramie, Idaho Territory at the time. We arrived here last seventh day after a toilsome and weary march of 70 days, including our whole journey from Camp Denison, which would have been in Ohio, having left there on the 1st of August and arrived here on the 10th of October. No person can imagine how wearisome it is to travel across these plains till he has experienced it. The plains are nearly bare of live grass and having, there having been no rain on any account for 16 months. There was no water in the South Platte as far as we followed it, and but little in the North Platte, which we followed for near 300 miles. While I was sick, I ate nothing for nearly a week. I had the yellow jaundice, and no appetite for any kind of food without it was fresh. This is one of the joys in reading primary accounts, because this is not a complete sentence at all. I had the yellow jaundice and had no appetite for any kind of food. Without it was fresh fish, and these we had plenty of sometimes, and sometimes we didn't. Where there were fish, the boys could catch them very easily by wading in and spearing them with their sabers. They would catch some nearly two feet long in this way. I tried fishing last sixth day with another boy. I left another boy who had no horse have mine, and I concluded to follow up the river in a quest of fish. I started very early with my saber, looking all along the river for fish, but had the luck to find none till in the afternoon. We killed six. The largest was two feet long, the smallest one foot, and it was the dearest mess of fish I thought that I would ever have, for we got so far behind that it was after night when we got into camp. I think we walked nearly 25 miles that day. I will be content after this to ride my horse and let fishing alone. The health of the boys is good at present. I am well as common. Sam Engel is at Fort Kearney. He was unwell when we left there, but getting better. That massacre that Samira spoke of occurred at Lawrence. I thought I gave full particulars of it in one of my letters. I must close for the present. Hervey. We hope you've enjoyed listening to this reading of a primary resource with the 11th OVC. Until you join us next time, read hard.